It's turning to ice. Everything nice. So guys, in London, we've got a really freezing day today. Look, it's so cold. Look, you can pick these things off the cars, the bicycles. Imagine that, an icicle dangling from the bottom of the cars. Never seen that before in the UK. Insane. Yes, yes, massive crew, absolutely screwing, guys. Uh, I just literally put a disc into my Amiga and it basically just started making this mad noise as just the same as the Atari and uh, now it doesn't recognize any disc I'm glad you guys can hear that noise man because I want you to witness it you can see up there oh sounds like some car skidding up man but every time there's a different block number that comes up dodgy Ooh. All right, maybe I think I'll take this out. This is looks like it's a regular occurrence that's happening. Um, I'm gonna try and buy um, a disc cleaner, which I've just all ordered off of eBay, because at the moment, really, I truly, I don't think I've got anything to lose. If you guys ever experienced this, uh, comment down below, let me know if you guys have ever experienced any floppy disc going down while you're trying to put them in your machines. Maybe I should have put it in the PC first to give it a little warm up. Uh, because a replacement drive for the Amiga is about 20 odd quid, 27 pounds. Uh, so I'm going to try and find my cleaner. I'm going to put some isopropyl on it and we'll stick it in a drive and see what happens. I, but my cleaner's dirty. So, but I know there's one in there somewhere. And at the moment, I've got nothing to lose. So I'm going to give it a go. Guys, I just tried something crazy. Yeah. And it worked. I got, I found an old, dirty, this is an old cleaning disc. Yeah. I poured isopropyl on this part here, gave it a little turn, yeah, and now it's reading the disc again. And it says on this old floppy drive cleaner, it is recommended that you clean your disc drive heads at least once a day to avoid data loss and head damage. You can't see it there, but yeah. I think we're back up and running folks comment down below let me know what songs you'd like to see pressed on vinyl let me know which songs of the brain records collection and the brain records that archives that you'd like to see on vinyl first also on the sample CDs would you guys like to have any actual Akai disc options or would you just want to download the samples so guys just running off these discs and um, one thing I've had to do with every single disc, a quick little tip, is to fast forward all my disc before I actually start playing it. So I'll fast forward it all the way to the end, and that way, in my opinion, what this does is it kind of eliminates any possibilities of any stuck tape or dust or anything like that. So it sort of loosens up the tape and gets rid of any potential dust that might be on the head now. Looking at this DAT that I'm about to run off, I could see that you see all these little red lights that keep flashing there. That's I think that's actually start IDs. So it seems like there's quite a lot going on on this DAT. It may have had sort of start stop, uh, like session start stop sessions, or um, it just could be just loads of tracks. As you can see, it's about an hour long. So I'll run it all the way to the end, and then run it all the way back to the beginning before actually playing it. Then that way. Uh, we don't get any glitches. I mean since I've been using this Tascam DA20 DAT machine uh, The glitches have been um, Minimal I've probably had uh, maybe two or three glitches since I've been running off that and so far Progression is I've only done this lot of that's out of that because remember some of these are 120 minutes And I'm finding some nice little tunes man nice little bits and pieces. So I'm gonna set up Adobe Edition over here and just found a really cool song with, that I did with Fats back in the day called Homies, which no one's really heard, I don't think. Um, so I'm gonna be letting that out soon so people can have a listen. Optimate 1.1. Crazy. Ooh. All right, never mind. So that's it guys, hope you guys liked the video. Just a quick insight into what I've been getting up to um, and a heads up. Don't forget, look out for the Kickstarter project, which should be launching any day now for you guys to pledge your funds for Wickedest Piece of Tune and 24-7. Take care, God bless, peace.